and welcome to Mentoring Me, Morehouse School of Medicine Excellence. I'm your host, Gina Towns, and today we have the director of the Mentoring Academy, Dr. Winston E. Thompson. He's also chair of the Physiology Department and director of OBGYN Research. Welcome, Dr. Thompson. Thank you. So, Dr. Thompson, this is a really exciting time at Morehouse School of Medicine, and I know one of the things that's exciting is the Mentoring Academy. You're absolutely right. I'm excited to be here to talk about the Mentoring Academy with you today. So tell me a little bit about how this all got started at Morehouse School of Medicine and what's the Mentoring Academy about? You know, they say that necessity is the mother of invention. And we at Morehouse School of Medicine saw the need for mentoring, given the fact that at, during this current time, there's a hypersensitivity as it relates to grant writing um, grant um, support at Morehouse School of Medicine and throughout the nation. So we saw the need that there's a need for mentoring at Morehouse School of Medicine. And so apparently you're one of the founding fathers, if you will, of, of the Mentoring Academy. So how did you go about building those bricks and, and what is it that you're really trying to achieve as you're building? So our mission in the Mentoring Academy is to mentor those to mentor others for effective, sustainable growth. That's the, the way I see it. Um, I've seen uh, mentoring as a valued added tool. Mm -hmm. It helped me tremendously in my career um, from going to Lafayette College um, in Pennsylvania to Rutgers University and moving on to um, Harvard Medical School. And through my experience, I've maintained those relationships with those individuals up till this day. So for Morehouse School of Medicine and, and what we're doing right now for mentoring, who all is included? Does it include the students? Is it faculty? Is it all encompassing for the staff? Or what are we actually doing so far? Well, so um, the concept was um, borne out the fact that we um, seek leadership from senior investigators. I had a conversation with each of these leaders in the basic science, clinical, community health, um, and the MPH program. Um, to see if we can bring collectively uh, a new paradigm as it relates to mentoring, a team science approach. I see. So if you were to explain why that's important, because I heard you mentioning grant writing, I heard you mention publication, and so what does that mean to the larger population? If we had to break this down to say this is why we're mentoring. Sure. Um, so the tra traditional way of mentoring is the one-on-one -on -one mentoring experience. Mm -hmm. Apprenticeship, and, if you correct. will. Correct. And so we, we see that team mentoring, there's lots of advantages. Mm -hmm. You can have individuals that are con content expert, but you also have individuals that can help in the overall development of the faculty. Mm -hmm. And that is important. Not one person have all of the necessary tools to mentor a particular individual. So what if somebody just come up and say, Dr. Thompson, I want you to mentor me, or you say, hey, I want to mentor you, or what, what is the process? So one of the things that um, I would encourage is for that individual to develop what we call an individual development plan and share it with me and their team. And from that, we develop an individual mentoring achievement plan so that we're focused on that individual to give them what they need, when they need it, and the amount they need it. Okay, so then once a person has established a mentoring relationship, how does that benefit Morehouse School of Medicine in, in, a, in an overall fashion? Yes, so you see a clear return on your investment um, in terms of um, um, the time it takes for an individual to get an independent um, grant it increased their publication rate. Um, it increased their grant submission and potentially a grant awards. Um, it helped in faculty ret to recruit faculty, to retain faculty. Um, and those are things that we need here at Morehouse School of Medicine for us to sustain growth. And so we're a minority serving institution. And, and is it any different for us? I mean, is this some? Um, is there some reason why it's maybe more important for us to, to mentor? Sure. Uh, currently, um, the scientific workforce needs diversification. Mm -hmm. And schools like Morehouse School of Medicine can play a huge role in that process. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
And so I would assume then in the general population, as you mentor and that mentoring develops a faculty member, they are more apt to be able to mentor students. And since we train medical students in, in, in our mission in serving in underserved and uh, underrepresented populations and, and our quest and our vision towards health equity, I can see where mentoring really kind of affects the, the larger community as well. Correct. So it's not just mentoring the faculty, because as you mentor the faculty, they can mentor graduate student, medical student. Graduate students are mentoring undergraduate student all the way um, through the pipeline, from all the way from, uh, you can imagine, from elementary school all the way up and down. So mentoring is very important. So what's important to you as the director of the Mentoring Academy? What is important to you in order to build and sustain the Mentoring Academy? The important thing for me is uh, sustainable growth at Morehouse School of Medicine so that we can be very competitive um, in the grant process. Um, we can be very competitive in all sector of academia. Mm -hmm. And I, it seems like this is also a construct that you can model, reshape, and it maybe can be transferred, translated throughout the entire institution. Correct. And even modeled by other institutions. Correct, Correct. You're, you're absolutely, you can imagine that um, uh, mentoring administrators and staff as well. And if our model works, it can be transferred to other institutions similar to Morehouse School of Medicine. Well, that's awesome. And I'm excited to see all the things that will be happening. We're going to check back in with you to see exactly what's going on in the growth that it's having, the impact that it's having at Morehouse School of Medicine towards health equity. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. As we lead in the creation and advancement of, of health equity, um, this is important. Thank you. Thanks, Dr. Thompson. Well, that's it for today's edition. Thank you for joining us on Mentoring Me, Morehouse School of Medicine. Excellent. See you next time.